Hey guys, it's Yvette. I have my Maxi Makes box. Very, very excited. You guys know I love Maxi Makes. I can't wait to see what she's teaching us this month. Um, so let's pop this baby open and get moving. <laughs> I'm excited to nurture my creativity. It always looks so nice and neat in there. Isn't that nice? Um, all right, so I'm gonna take my little package out. And let me open this. Okay. The card on top, it says, September 2018, Maxi Makes Subscription Sewing Box. Magic Tricks from the Math Whisperer. I think we might like this, guys. Um, okay. The project is a punched out star pillow. And that's what it looks like. Um, okay, it says math, that dreaded word every quilter hates. This month, we tackle our fears by turning math into fun. Cindy Williams is known as the math whisperer because she turns complicated quilting equations into simple to understand techniques with her easy to follow charts and tricks. When you're finished with your block, you'll ask, how'd that just happen? <laughs> um, okay, so... What's inside the box? We are gonna get um, art gallery fabrics for a quilted pillow top, batting and muslin for a quilted pillow top, a half yard of fabric for the back, the pattern, a friction iron off marker. Oh, oh my gosh. I, okay, I'm gonna get there. I got something to say. Thread, <laughs> um, a creative grids one and a half inch by six inch ruler and some tea. She always sends tea. Um, what will you learn? Cindy's unique method of making accurate, fast, square in a square units in any size. Cindy's technique for turning a square in a square block into a star block in any size. Okay, I am actually excited for that. Okay, so let me show you everything that we got. First, there's this creative grids ruler. You guys, I don't have this size. I do not have this size. Oops, I have it upside down. Maxi, thank you so much. I love new sizes of rulers. I, I can tell you right now I'm going to love this. Absolutely going to love it. I can tell on the back that it's got this quarter inch line and also a half inch line. Love it. I just love that. And this is like, I bet this is going to turn into a size that you're going, what did I ever do without this? I love creative grids. They're the best. They are the best, bar none. I don't care what you say. These are always the best. I wish they made every kind of quilting ruler there is under the sun. <laughs> Absolute favorite. Here is the thread that we have received. It is, is this? It's Guterman. And it's a tan color. Really nice. That's going to blend very well with pretty much anything. Um, organic lemon ginger tea. It's a caffeine-free um, herbal tea. Okay. Friction pen. This is just my opinion, okay? <laughs> and y'all know I got one. I don't know who decided to make these pens with that you have to take the cap off. Really? Like, I don't understand why you would ever w prefer that pen. No. First of all, not just because of the design that it is, and I think just because, I'm not really sure, but these pens will definitely um, run out of ink faster than regular pens you use, okay? Especially if you leave them either uncapped or open, right? So as, after you use them, it's best to either recap it right away or, you know, like this one. Hello, it's a clicker. That's the only one I'll use. Anything else, if it comes in, I psh, give that sucker away. It's too much trouble to me to have to be like, mm, now I'm trying to take the cap off, I'm marking, uh, and I gotta like put the cap. I'm sorry, that's just crazy. A clicker, hello, a clicker. <laughs> 
if I'm in the middle of like marking and stuff, I don't want to have to worry about a cap. I don't want to lose a cap because these dry out faster if you leave the cap off. Just so Maxi, hello. Girl, you got it going on. You 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 probably agree with me on that. I'm just saying, I've used these for years now and I will not use the ones with the cap. Don't won't do it. Okay. Now we're getting to the fabric. This is what we all wanted to see. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure what this, did she say what this line is? All she said was that it's art gallery fabrics. Um, I mean, it could be that it's her, it's her um, daughter's fabric. Um, okay, so I'll just, I'll show it to you and then I'll look it up while I'm um, doing all my editing. Um, so we have this. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's, it's like a tone on tone is what it is. So it's white on like a very light tan color. Okay, and then we have, um, they're always so soft. And then we have this blue with crosses on it. This is a really deep teal color. It's really pretty. I don't know if that's coming through. Um, and this is another piece of that same um, tone on tone. It's just a bigger piece. I can feel it. Oh, and look, it's got some, it's got some selvage, but it doesn't have the selvage that has a name on it. <laughs> it just says art gallery fabrics feel the difference. 100% premium cotton. That's all it says. Um, okay. And then the next one is this, um, I would say it's sort of a cream. It's definitely not a, a white, white. So it's like a cream color, um, with that teal and these little abstract flower looking things. I don't know what else to call it really. Leaves maybe. Um, okay. And then we have some stabilizer and there's some muslin. I'm calling it stabilizer. Is that what it is? Cause I actually, she doesn't have anything on there about that. Feels like stabilizer though. And this is definitely muslin. And here's the batting, which is included as well. Okay. So that's everything we got. And now all we need to do, because we have, um, here's the pattern. Um, so all we need to do is go and watch her video, which she does have the password for um, down here. And we'll get to watch the video and we'll see, what's her name? Cindy Williams um, teach us this math technique that's gonna supposedly make it a whole lot easier. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. And I, I do love that all these projects are like nice and small. Um, and I know everybody's always asking me, when are you gonna do them, when are you gonna do them? Listen, my goal is always to make them for the month. But um, to be honest with you guys, in like the past week, I've had an order, not an order, but two orders, totaling eight of those Halloween drawstring bags. Um, in fact, let me show you, cause I do have three of them ready. Ugh. And then everything else, I've gotten them cut out. I just, I'm in the middle of sewing them. Um, so here's the first one. And the inside is all, and this is all, um, I don't remember where I got this orange, but it's really, really cute. Um, and this is Broomhilla's bakery it's just the um the cobwebs that they had and so i've got that one and i stabilize mine a lot um you know the regular ones the pattern doesn't call for that but i like them nice and or stiffer put them that way so mine come out really nice <laughs> my opinion of course um and these are all for little kids so um here's the next one that i made again with the orange and then i put um little candy inside and then the last one that I've made so far um, this one is made with all uh, glow-in-the-dark fabrics and I just think it's adorable of course <laughs> and the little um, the little spiders and then on the inside it's a bunch of little eyeballs can you see and those are all glow in the dark. So all you have to do is just, you know, stick them outside or whatever. And yeah, so there they are. And then you could like tie them or whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. 
and I make everything out of fabric. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had, um, I have eight of these to make and I have another five that I'm in the middle of making right now. I have all my fabric cut. I have all of my stabilizer put on and now I just need to start sewing them all together. Um, it's actually a pretty quick pattern, but when you have like that many and plus I'm um, trying to make them with all different fabrics so that they're each different. Um, you know, that part takes even longer for me because the process of trying to match up um, fabrics, that to me is like, I want it to be perfect. <laughs> Go figure, right? <laughs> like you wouldn't have guessed that. Um, so anyway, there we go. That's what I've been busy with and that's why, you know, I've not really had like a ton of videos coming out and um and i have not finished the mystery quilt for halloween that we did with fort worth fabric studio i know i haven't finished yet i really need to get these done because you know someone has paid me for those so i need to get those out and then um i'm definitely going to be catching back up with everything else that I need to do. Um, I also have my cotton cuts mystery quilt piece that I need to put together. Um, all of those, unfortunately guys, are gonna have to wait until I get these orders out that, like I said, they're paid for, so these people deserve to get them as soon as I can make them. So um, anyways, I'll be getting back on the saddle with all this stuff as soon as I can, and I will see you guys later. Bye.